Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings, mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, and even the occasional dash of Disney. So if you enjoy unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell. That way you'll find out whenever I post new videos, announce giveaways, or go live. Speaking of giveaways, I hope you've been on the lookout for the secret passwords that I am saying in a handful of the videos posting between October 14th and October 25th. If you find one of those passwords, you want to enter it along with your contact information in the form that is linked in all of the description boxes as well as over on the community tab, and then you'll be entered to win one of several fall mystery boxes from yours truly, which is my way of saying thank you to my loyal subscribers. Today though, I have a new lifestyle box to share with you. You may have seen it on some other channels, but this is my first Chrisley box. So it came in this giant box, you guys, but it is very, very pretty with these sort of leaf outlines on it. Now this box is a little bit pricey. It is $149.95. This was not sent to me for a review. I purchased this of my own accord and with my own money. I did reach out to them to see if they would send me a PR box because I know they have sent some out to other channels. They did not get back to me, so I don't have a discount code for you. It puts a little bit of a sour taste in my mouth just in terms of continuing to stay subscribed to this box. So you guys will have to let me know if you would like me to continue getting it and sharing it here or if there's another sort of luxury box that you would like to have me open here on the channel. I kind of have my eye on the 12 days of Christmas box that is being put out by my French country home but that one is even more expensive. So like I said I just want to put my budget make it go to the boxes that you guys would like to see here on the channel and hopefully I will have a coupon code for you guys from the Chrisley box eventually. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now I did pull out some of the items just because the box is a little unwieldy to be open up and I didn't want to like knock everything over but inside they do have this nice little magazine almost now I have not watched the Chrisley family on reality TV I like knew about it back in the day I used to always think that the commercials for it looked really funny um, but I just didn't wind up ever seeing it so you guys let me know if you are fans of the Chrisleys so um, I know that it's Savannah and Julie and I've been watching the box and I just think it's kind of fun when sort of celebrities or influencers get to curate their own box that's like kind of my dream is to not actually have to do all of the logistics of a box myself but just to be asked to be like a guest curator sometime I think that would be super duper awesome and that's really like the fun I think of putting together a box versus having to figure out all of that supply chain craziness and having to find a fulfillment center but I think it's really cool that they get to do this especially together so Inside it says, and just like that, summer fell into fall, y'all. We had so much fun putting together this collection of beautiful and meaningful items that will help you get cozy with the Chrisleys when the cool weather hits. Every box we create has a story, and the story changes everything. We hope you will get cuddled up with your Chrisley box items and read the stories of all the ways your purchase made a difference in so many people's lives. Happy fall, y'all. So pretty nice. Now this box, I have to tell you, I've seen a lot of the spoilers, and it kind of reminds me a little bit of another box that I open sort of as a one-time box, the Casey Wagon box. Um, she is actually coming out with a winter box as well, so that's another option of another box that I might give another try. A lot of the items are things that you do see in other subscription boxes, so I feel like in some ways this is kind of a fan box, but I love that they worked with all companies that do have a give back story to some degree. So I'm going to go ahead and turn to the first page, and we'll just kind of try to go in order of the magazine. So the first, uh, the first page is actually just like the full layout of all of the items that are inside, and there are a couple of items that I'm pretty excited about and some brands that I'm actually familiar with as well. So the first item that they are showing is the uh, white ceramic glass diffuser from Woolsey's, which is a great like essential oil brand. So this is what it looks like. It came in this nice box and I do appreciate that because of course that makes it very regiftable. It says take care of yourself, relieve stress and dramatically change your ambiance with this beautiful uh, aromatherapeutic diffuser. It uses ultrasonic technology to diffuse essential oils while keeping their full integrity. Uh, so it is safe and effect. So it safely and effectively infuses your space with relaxing scents bring calm home naturally so I know a lot of you are always wondering what to do with like the essential oils that you get in different subscription boxes namely Bombay and Cedar which is kind of known for that it says the owner of Woolsey's via Bostrom has a passion for design and creating safe eco-friendly recycled and handcrafted products now this uh, diffuser has a retail value of $50 now the one that they're showing here in the booklet is like very very smooth this like smooth ceramic look and the one that's on the box is actually textured and I actually 
actually really like this textured one. It has a little bit more uh, sense of design in my mind. So it's very, very simple. It looks really smooth, but it feels like you can tell that it's like ceramic. So it's a little bit rough to the touch, but I'm guessing you just uh, plug it in and then here's your little, here's your little button to make it turn on. And then of course you probably unscrew it in some way. I'm kind of I'm a little bit nervous to do it right now because I haven't read the directions, but it does seem to be moving a little bit. So you probably unscrew it to put the uh, water and diffusing oil inside. So I'll have to take a look. But like I said, I think that would make a great gift if you already have your uh, diffusers in your home. But I, I am excited about that item and I think it's a decent value on it. Like it seems like something that's nice to receive in a subscription box that you might not splurge for yourself otherwise. The next item is the one that made the box I think so big and this is this cozy throw. So I don't need too many more blankets in my house. One, because I live in Southern California. So really it never gets that cold here. It gets cold with Southern Californians and then everybody like on the East Coast in the Midwest just like laughs at us when we say it's cold and it's literally 50 degrees, which is not, not even close to cold to some of those folks. So it says this is the exclusive Cozy with the Chrisleys blanket. Consider this exclusive Sherpa throw to be a big warm hug from the Chrisley family to you, measuring at 50 by 60 inches, so pretty big. It says this cream color throw is the perfect one to cuddle up with on chilly, falling, chilly fall nights, chilly folly nights, and uh, this has a retail value of $65. So it is just super soft. It feels like the inside of your favorite like slock slippers um, or your favorite Uggs. It's really cozy. I probably will keep it just because I love that it's just cream and simple and it can be a nice extra layer because usually we don't sleep with a very thick comforter and on the rare occasion that it is kind of cold and some of the colds coming in from our sliding glass door this might be something nice to just throw on top of the comforter for a little extra warmth for me my husband is always plenty warm he doesn't need it but I, I might have it on my side to snuggle up with a little bit now we also got another item to go with our diffuser from Woolsey's and this is a little um, kind of sampler set it's called harvest party so it's got all harvest scents it says this essential oil collection is made up of three 10 milliliters sweet and warming oils that will evoke a relaxing and autumn atmosphere in your home these oils can be inhaled diffused and applied topically the three scent blends include spice cider pumpkin pie and honey apple this has a retail value of $18 so it's kind of a nice little gift box again it slides open I was just gonna kind of open it so that I could spin them around so you guys could actually see the scents so it is spiced cider I bet that smells nice pumpkin pie I bet that smells nice also and then the one that I'm probably the most excited about is the honey apple because I like a nice crisp apple scent and you guys know that I'm not super into the very very sweet scents especially in candle form but I do find that when it's an essential oil it's a little bit less intense sometimes than some of those super sweet um, candles you get a little bit more of the uh, fruit essence I feel like versus necessarily just the sugar scent um, which can be a little bit overwhelming to me personally now the next item is from sanctuary project and I think this is why I kind of relate this box to the Casey box because I think we got something from sanctuary there as well now you guys know I always love a jewelry piece and I especially love when it comes in gold I'm kind of surprised that it just came on a simple card with just a little plastic wrap instead of in a nice little gift box. It would be great if it did. Um, of course, I have plenty of little jewelry gift boxes, so if I do want to share this with someone else, I can. This is the Olive Branch Necklace from Sanctuary Product Project, which is women-owned and is considered a do-good do company. Um, and again, Woolsey's is a woman-owned company. So this is really, really pretty. I love this Olive Branch, like sideways leaf necklace. Very delicate, nice chain it says we are a nonprofit social enterprise providing meaningful employment and job training to survivors of trafficking violence and addiction so let me just read here now from the uh, booklet it says this dainty olive branch is a reminder of the reconciliation of the olive branch has historically symbolized where to be reminded of your own story of reconciliation redemption and forgiveness or give it to a friend who embodies redemption for you sanctuary project is a nonprofit social enterprise providing meaningful employment and job training to women uh, who have again survived trafficking, violence, and addiction. Their jewelry is designed and packaged by the women they employ, and 100% of the sales go directly to providing more job opportunities and job training to survivors. So I love that, and it says that it has a retail value of $42, and that does seem really fair, and the leaves aren't quite smooth. They do have a tiny bit of texture to them. I'll definitely show you guys over on Instagram when I have a chance. I've been a little bit behind on my photo taking. I know it's something that some of you look forward to, and some of the box companies definitely look forward to, but it's just 
kind of a way that I like supplement uh, this channel is by creating a little bit more content and because usually I really do enjoy taking those photos but especially of jewelry pieces we have another item which looks very cozy to me it is a velvet makeup bag and pin from Sixton London, which is a family-owned do-good company. And you guys, I have to say, the color on this is so luxe and so pretty. It's like it glows almost. It's kind of this pretty like mustard velvet, and then it's got this crazy brooch on it. So it says, this autumn rust velvet makeup bag comes with an adorable handmade decorative pin. Leave the pin on the bag or wear it on your clothes as a brooch. This velvet pouch with cozy fall vibes is perfect for makeup, ju makeup or jewelry. Sixteen London is a husband and wife owned and operated company that has a passion for fashion and giving back. They donate 10% of the profits of the insect pins to bug life, saving the small things that run the planet. That's kind of a cool um, cause. So this has a retail value of $35. That seems really fair for the pouch and the pin. But look at that little sparkly, I think it's supposed to be a bee, you guys. And you guys know I love honeybee things. So that is really cool. It looks so nice on the pouch, honestly, but depends on what you're using the pouch for if you're making it like a little mini clutch which I guess you really could even though it's more of a makeup bag shape uh, it does make it a little bit fancier but I think that would look so pretty like on a simple scarf or just on a black blouse to make it a little bit fancier so it kind of has that nice square shape which I do like I'm curious like what the interior is like just because I would probably not want to use it as a makeup bag unless it does have like nice wipeable sides so it's kind of a satiny synthetic interior but it is nice because it's not just black so you're not gonna lose everything inside it has a good kind of gusset at the bottom so it's definitely going to be able to hold some like smaller bottles which is kind of nice but this is kind of pretty in terms of having something out like on your dresser you know sometimes I kind of work out of a makeup bag or if I'm getting ready to travel and it's kind of nice to have something that looks a little bit fancier this could also make a really nice jewelry travel case I sometimes use the hard ones but honestly sometimes they're like a little bit cumbersome to pack so something like this where you could put individual jewelry pieces inside might look very very, very pretty and kind of um, looks nice again on the dresser of the hotel or wherever you happen to be staying. So let's go ahead and see what else we have. So quite a few items I have to say in this box, not like super duper high retail values, but I do think we're getting our $150 worth. So the next item that I see is, let me find it, is this Headbands of Hope beanie. Now I've gotten Headbands of Hope items from so many different subscription boxes and often they're actual headbands or scrunchies, neither of which I use very often. So I was kind of excited that this was a beanie, even though in all honesty, I don't use beanies that often either, just because it's not usually cold enough to use them here in San Diego. But I would use a beanie more often and I kind of like the slouchy look of it. I feel like it kind of screams fall, you know? And honestly, when you have something on your head, you like feel so much warmer that you don't then have, have to have the super heavy coat going on as well. So. It's in a great, super um, usable dark gray color, which is totally my vibe. You guys know I love my dark gray. Now I usually put these on, but we'll see about it. We'll see about it. So this has a value of $35. That does seem a little bit high for a beanie in all honesty, because you can usually find these at like crafts fairs and like, you know, different places for a little bit cheaper than that, but they do have a good cause. So let's read about it. This is a woman owned do good company. It says it's time to bundle up and now you can keep your head warm and style. The slouchy charcoal beanie is soft and cozy. The material is soft 100% acrylic so it's not itchy on your skin. Headbands of Hope is an organization founded by Jessica Ekstrom who wanted to make a difference in the lives of children battling cancer. For every item sold a headband is donated to a child battling cancer or other life altering illness. So again you can't, you can't complain about that. I think that is such a nice like heartwarming cause. So I was just going to put it on but let's see if I can get it to go on my giant head. So I usually like to wear my beanies so that I've got a little bit of um, hair kind of showing in the front I'd have to like remove that tag to make it look a little better right I don't know if I can tuck it in enough so beanie might have to come off you guys but I feel like it's almost ready I'm almost ready for fall now so I would definitely use this and it's gonna go with so many other things that I already have because it's gray right so pretty cute let me go ahead and take that off just because I can't get the tag to like flatten out you guys all right so I do like the beanie I think it's pretty cute and I do like headbands of hope 
So another reason that this kind of reminds me of the Casey box, not only because they call the companies do good companies, which I realize is not like trademarked or anything, but also because <laughs> this is a very similar item to the box that I received from that. Uh, this is a Love Beads uh, kind of garland from Twig and Tassel, which is a woman owned company. This has a retail value of $32. I know these are super duper popular, but in all honesty, I don't know exactly what to do with them. I prefer them when it's a would be like garland that you kind of have a little bit more leeway with where it's open instead of this like loop because this honestly just feels to me like a big chunky necklace I know a lot of people put them on their doorknobs as like a hospitality symbol um, you can definitely lay them out or around a bowl on your on your dining table I don't have a dining table it's got this kind of faint um, you know painted white wood heart I like that it's in just the cream beads with the big cream tassel but I never know what to do with these and this is kind of a short length in all honesty so let's read about our um, our love beads is what they're calling them because I guess because of the heart. It says the perfect accessory for your home. These decorative beads look perfect hanging from a handle, lying on a shelf, draping a vase, or adorning your coffee table. So I just, I don't have enough space for like just random doodads like this. It says handmade with beautiful pine wood beads, a hand carved heart, and finished with a tassel. This piece will send a daily reminder of love. Twig and Tassel is a female owned and operated home goods company. All of their items are handmade and they hope you love your love beads and that they add a special touch to your home decor. So they're cute. They're simple. They're like, you know, very neutral color. I wouldn't normally buy them myself, but I'm happy to receive them in a subscription box. All right. And then finally, I think we have one more item and it came in a box with this cute little kit on the front. So let me go ahead and move that out of the way. I might need to grab my scissors. So we got a custom Hello Pumpkin mug. Now I'm wondering why they say custom because I've definitely seen this mug before. I think I might have even gotten it in a subscription box. Um, so I'm going to have to see how custom it feels to me says hello pumpkin don't you look cute with that custom mug fill your 14 ounce camper collection ceramic coffee mug with your favorite fall drink which we just know will be the crisply bent blend roast from eighth and roast included in your fall collection so i have to find that so here is what it looks like so it is styled to look like a camper mug right but it is ceramic it's got that like speckling going on it's kind of an aggressive speckling it kind of almost doesn't look like a camping mug it looks like splatter paint it does have a nice black rim kind of a smaller handle on Honestly, for how big this mug is like it feels like a soup mug almost like you can see it's it's hefty um, it's a little bit heavy I'm wondering if it's dishwasher safe so it doesn't say on here I'm guessing it's probably dishwasher safe hopefully it is because I'm probably gonna try it out in the dishwasher and it doesn't look like it has anything metallic on it so it's probably also microwave safe but now I have quite the collection of these camper mug style ceramic mugs in fall um, colors and also with fall sayings like I think I have one that says sweater weather I'm pretty sure I have another orange one that says hello pumpkin uh, hello fall so that's kind of fun that I have this like eclectic fall mug collection I just need a bigger house so that I can actually entertain and have a like hot cocoa station out for everyone one day one day right and then we have one final item to like they said go along with the mug which is the crisply bot block box blend I was trying to put box and blend together in one word so it's uh the tasting notes of this are candied pecan blackberry and maple syrup that actually sounds awesome you guys it is whole beans so you're gonna need a grinder um I don't actually have one at home right now I used to have a little like hand one but now since I use my Kerrig so much I don't usually grind beans at home it says the crisply bl blend is a delicious combination of beans originating from three specific regions a pulp natural coffee from Brazil an organic wash coffee from Mexico and a natural processed coffee from Guatemala all the great coffee places it says connecting with a network of fair trade farmers from around the world eighth and roast has become an active part of a global sustainability movement whenever possible they partner directly with the producers to import straight from the source bypassing the middlemen it has a retail value of $15 that seems fair this might be a nice gift as well for someone who really loves their coffee and who has a coffee grinder in their home so I think this was a really nice box it's all kind of like expected items items that you would receive in a lifestyle box. It is a high priced quarterly subscription. I will say 150. I feel like there's a boxes that are sort of similar that you would be seeing for a little bit less, more like 100 or 120. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the winter box. I'm probably going to look for more spoilers. I did already see the spoiler for their winter uh, jewelry piece. It is very much something that I would wear, but I would love to hear from you guys if you would like to see more of it. 
I think that we got our money's worth. I haven't done the like math to total up the values, but it was nice. I think it's really pretty. Um, I think that the diffuser is probably my favorite item and I do love it in this textured version. I like the little makeup bag just because I think the color is so luxe and I love that it came with the little brooch as well. Um, the mug, for example, the like throw, those are all kind of things that you see a lot in subscription boxes, um, which might make this the perfect subscription box for you if it's kind of the best of, of all of the uh, boxes that you've seen out there but you guys let me know I would love to hear from you if you appreciated this video please do give it a thumbs up and I will see you all very very soon in my next unboxing